If you've ever wanted to make your own podcast, but you just don't have the time, maybe you're just not confident speaking, you know, on a microphone about a subject or you're struggling to get guests, you are going to love this new and currently free AI podcast maker from Google. And it's called Notebook LM, and you can uh, click the link under this video to go and check it out. But I've had a little play with this, and I'm telling you, it is absolutely amazing at creating effectively a podcast. And then you can use that podcast to market your business, to, to grow your brand, to do all kinds of different things. And so let's go ahead and have a little play with it right now. So here we are. First of all, you click Create New Notebook. And then you can name it, whatever you want, but you can now start adding sources to the notebook. And this is the, these sources are what we're going to use to create the podcast. So you can go and uh, uh, connect to your Google Drive if you want to do this for your business or something, or you can just paste in text, or you can use a website. Now, just for fun, I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to collect up some links here on news to do with uh, the Taylor Swift and Donald Trump saga that was going on. And I'm going to feed it with that information and then it will create a podcast from it. So I've done one link that was to um, the independent. Then I've got another link here. Just go up to the top left and you can just keep adding these sources. I'm just going to add like enough information about it so that it can create a really good kind of podcast for us. And you'll see that it uses it literally uses two people as well having a conversation, not just one AI person waffling and it just is so real it's brilliant and i would imagine there's probably going to be a lot of software products out there that really take care of this whole process for you put a wrapper around this basically but right now it is brilliant in its current form so you can do all kinds of things with notebook you can create uh, like an faq a study guide table of contents briefing doc or timeline from all of those sources that you have given it. And so it's really good at actually creating self-study guides on anything. Or if you're a business and you want to do some onboarding training, brilliant. You know, just upload all of your company's content and then create a, a guide from that content. But if we press this magic button right here, deep dive conversation, click generate, and now it will effectively create a two-person podcast from all of this news right here. And of course, you can go ahead and then publish that podcast. I was having a look around and you've got something like Buzzsprout here, which is really good. You can start for free. I'll put a link to this under the video as well. I'm not an affiliate of Buzzsprout or anything, but I think this is a fantastic way to distribute the podcast that we're about to create. You can see that lots of good reviews about it right here. And then it will put it across all of these different places like Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, Overcast, CastBox, tons of them. So it's a really good way to distribute the content that we're about to create. And then I thought, well, you kind of need to create, you know, a really nice bit of branding for your podcast as well. You can see here. So I popped over to Canva and they've got 1,930 templates here. Really good quality templates. You can have a look at this. Fantastic. You can just edit very, very simply and make your own professional brand. You can put a person on there. Um, you can put no person on there really like this. It doesn't really matter. Like this one here, look, Tonight Show Live podcast. You don't have to like pretend it's real humans. It's entirely up to you how you do it. But loads of great templates there in Canva. Now, if we go back over to Notebook, it usually takes just a few minutes to create a decent length conversation about the subject. Obviously, the more you give it, the longer that conversation will be. But I will pause this video and I'll come right back when it's finished. So honestly, you're going to love this. Now, it's done. That would that took probably about, I would say, four minutes, something like that. And then we can take a little listen. It's six minutes and 45 seconds long. So obviously, if I added loads more content and then generated uh, a new conversation, I could make it longer. Or I could do this multiple times with different sources and kind of combine them into one. But wait till you get a listen of this. All right, so we've got Taylor Swift, political endorsements, 
and uh, a little bit of celebrity romance sprinkled in. You guys sent in a wild mix for this deep dive, but that's what we're here for. Yeah, absolutely. And you know what I find so interesting about this particular set of stories is this idea that we've got these kind of separate threads, right? Yeah. You know, from well. Taylor's Instagram post to Trump on Truth Social. It all speaks to this bigger picture of celebrity and politics and media colliding in a way that I don't think we've quite seen. Okay, let's break it down then. Our first source is this Sky News article about Taylor Swift endorsing Kamala Harris for president on Instagram. Right. Now, she's been vocal before, but this is 284 million followers. This is not a small thing. No, and I think that's a really important point to start with is the reach. Right? right. This is not just, you know, your average celebrity endorsement. This is a massive platform. And for a lot of these voters, particularly younger voters, this might be their first interaction like this. Right. Yeah. So this could sway opinions. This could mobilize voters in a way that, you know, traditional campaigning can only dream of. And that's where I think things get really interesting. Mm -hmm. How good is that? Absolutely brilliant conversation. Now, always at the moment, you can't get to choose who does it, the voices. But either way, you've got these two really good voices, actually. But I'm sure in time, you're going to be able to create uh, new ones, you know, like or maybe even your own voice. You'll be able to use your own voice, but with this technology that allows you to add some sources of, of content and then create that podcast. And then to get that now, all you do is just click download like that and you get it in a WAV file um, that you can then, you know, upload to wherever. And as I say, you can go ahead and use something like Buzzsprout to distribute these podcasts or create multiple different ones and add them together uh, to make a really long one. But also what I did was if I just go to um, the other sources here, let's have a little look here. If I can just go, I can name that one now. So I can put name that one like Taylor. There we go. And then we can go back to our other other ones here. Now, well, let's have a look. Here's all the sources that we've got. There we go. So I'm back to like all of my notebooks. I did one for my business out of interest. I just uploaded lots of different content about fast bots. And then just, you know, had a little look and see if it could produce a podcast about my business. And it did. So here you go. It's like eight minutes, 29 long. And I'll just quickly play you a little bit of it and then you can get a flavor for it. But it's it could be a really useful marketing tool as well. Ever feel like, man, if I could just clone myself, I could get so much more done. Especially if that clone could handle like those repetitive customer questions that pop up at all hours. Right. And what if, and this is where it gets really wild. What if that clone was powered by AI, trained on your company's unique data? Okay, now you've got my attention. That's the kind of future FastBots.ai is painting. They're all about these custom AI chatbots. So moving beyond those generic, how many interactions do you anticipate on a monthly basis? Because otherwise, that low, low price can balloon on you pretty fast. Precisely. And beyond just those immediate costs, you also want to factor in the long-term investment. Implementing a system like this takes time and resources. You'll need to train the chatbot, make sure it integrates with your existing systems. There you go. You can see and it goes on and it's fantastic. I've listened to the whole thing. It's quite objective as well, actually. <laughs> you know, it really does uh, give us a bit of a grilling, uh, the company, but fantastic tool. Um, again, it's free at the moment. Notebook LM by Google. You can, if you've got a Google account, I believe you can just go in and just, just Google notebook and then find it and it will be there ready and waiting for you if you're signed into Google. And you can have a play around with this. And I think it's a really useful tool to create podcasts. And if you like that, then please do like this video and then subscribe if you like more. And then there's another video coming in just a second. All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>